Hello and welcome to Game of Box Office. Today we will take a look at the box office run of The Last Samurai. The Last Samurai was released on December 5th, 2003 in 2908 cinemas and ran a total of 126 days until the last performance on April 8th, 2004. The film was produced by Warner Brothers with a budget of $140 million and received an R rating. The film opened to $24.3 million and finished its run at $111.1 million in the USA and Canada. In addition, The Last Samurai made $345.6 million in the rest of the world, resulting in a combined total of $456.8 million. The Last Samurai had everything it needed to become a big box office hit. Tom Cruise was on his box office peak after Mission Impossible 2 and Minority Report and the quality of Minority Report let many people look over the miserable quality of Mission Impossible 2. Hence, it helped the movie to have Cruise as a leading actor. However, it has to be noted once more that the film was produced with a 140 million budget. A budget that high was certainly not normal in 2003 and Warner Bros. took quite a big risk with it. Making the whole operation a lot more risky was of course the R rating that The Last Samurai received. Although epics with an R rating such as Gladiator and Troy have been successful on several occasions, there have been failures as well, as seen in our Kingdom of Heaven analysis. Another risk at that time was to publish a movie playing exclusively in an Asian region. In 2003 and previous years, movies that solely took place in Asia always tended to perform badly at the box office. It was an odd box office trait, but nevertheless it was a risk. Warner Brothers and director Edward Zick could breathe a sigh of relief as the first reviews were coming in. The movie was loved by critics and audiences and four Oscar nominations leveraged its run significantly. The 111 million in the US and Canada are quite respectable and the 345 million in the rest of the world were terrific back then. During the first 10 weekends of its release, the movie did not even once drop more than 50% and the multiplier of 4.58 is also very good. Although a high multiplier value is virtually a given for a December release, this value is quite remarkable. We talk highly of The Last Samurai here, but one thing must not be left unmentioned. The movie could have been much bigger if it had not been released two weeks before The Lord of the Rings The Return of the King. The final release of the The Lord of the Rings trilogy, as well as the Oscar hype that followed definitely stole a lot of momentum from The Last Samurai. Without The Lord of the Rings, The Last Samurai would certainly have ended its run at about $600 million globally, with a splitting of roughly $160 million in the USA and Canada and $440 million in the rest of the world. So what can be said in conclusion about The Last Samurai? The movie earned respect through its multiplier the drop rate and the final result. However, not enough for a grade in the A range. Had the film not had such bad luck with the release timing of The Return of the King, it would have certainly performed considerably better. Thus, the Game of Box Office team rates The Last Samurai with the grade B+. Our upcoming video will be an analysis about The Dark Knight Rises, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug or a profile of J.J. Abrams. We hope you enjoyed this analysis. Be sure to hit a like and subscribe to our channel. You can also support us on the social networks listed below. See you soon. Bye bye.